Well, test scores are in for Arkansas schools, and there's some bad news on the report card. And a return to letter grades evaluating public school districts. Many found out just how much ground they lost during the pandemic, and the Little Rock School District finds itself dealing with the decline head on. Well, THV, THV 11, Ian Russell, heard from those leaders as they confront the latest data. Yeah, Faith, really, well, the pandemic brought on a lot of learning challenges for a lot of the districts here in central Arkansas. And now LRSD says they have a plan to get themselves out of this current situation, even if it takes them a couple of years. Because at the end of the day, if we're at the bottom of the barrel now, we have nowhere to go but up. It's been a long couple years for educators in Arkansas. It's disheartening. You know, because we know that we're more than a letter grade. Issues brought on by the pandemic have been top of mind. The way we have to instruct, um, the biggest change has been trying to bring all of our kids back. And now they're at the top of the report card for LRSD schools. Despite how hard our educators worked over the last two years, there should be no surprise that school grades declined in LRSD from 2019 to 2022. Multiple school districts regressed since the last time they were graded in 2019. According to Arkansas Department of Education data, districts of all sizes saw lower scores, a reminder of the pandemic struggles. But Dr. Jamal Wright, the superintendent for LRSD, isn't worried. He's confident. What other attitude is there to have? <laughs> I mean, it's no um, reason to feel defeated. This is our current reality, um, but it doesn't have to be our reality you know, in three or four years from now. He says there's no clear starting point to getting schools back on track, which may actually be a good thing. It doesn't define our students. It doesn't define our community. Um, we have a lot of work to do. I think we've already acknowledged that. We know there are parts of our system that do not work well, and we have to do things differently in order to improve in those areas. And while this is a problem that every district is looking at, they're ready to get to work. It may take a while, but there's nowhere to go but up. The difficulty is not what we try to keep at the forefront, but teaching and learning and moving forward. Dr. Wright emphasized there is no quick fix out of this situation, but he's confident with a couple years they can turn things around.